Long Island KJY 98.3. Jim and Kim in the morning. It is Halloween day. Of course, none of us are in costume because Jim and I hate this holiday. <laughs> but there's a, a lot of places on Long Island we found out on Monday morning that are haunted. And joining us today from the filmmaker, actually, of a film. Now, where have we shown this film? On Long Island? All over Long Island, Jim and Kim. Yeah? It's Peter Bune, everybody. It's Hi. Lost in Suburbia. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. A perfect day for you guys. Now, is this a documentary film? It's actually, it's a mix of both. It's like none movie, no movie no one's ever seen before. Did so I like say that right? Blair Witch Project? Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie I don't want to see anymore. Yeah, no, that it's a, right. it's a one part documentary and one part narrative short. So you get a mix of, uh, you know, you get a background on the um, historical aspects or the, you get a background on the, the stories itself before you see our take on it. Mm -hmm. Now there are five different films, basically. There's four, there's four, four different. Mm -hmm. And it's about a different haunting on Long Island or something that's well, kind of creepy? They're about um, local Long Island urban myths and legends. Yeah. Give us an example. Crocodiles well, in the sewer system? No. <laughs> <laughs> <Not that one>. <laughs> <laughs> no, some that um, might be true. Mm -hmm. And that's what we that's what this movie is about, Lost Suburbia. Um, there's, uh, we do Kings Park Psychiatric Center, that's oh, more that of an, place is creepy. an urban yeah. exploration type place. You know, I could accidentally go off the parkway to Sac Dakota and I'm like, oh, oh, I, oh, I, oh I know, it's really creepy there. That's real. Yeah. yeah. That's real, that's there for you to see. There's, um, Sweet Hollow Road in Farmingdale. I've heard a lot about that. Which is where I'm going to go right after this because I just like to scare myself every so often. <laughs> no, what's about Sweet Hollow Road? I'm not Sweet familiar. Sweet Hollow Road, though, the, um, there's a lot of stories actually that there's a story about, um, four teenagers who uh, did a little uh, suicide pact and they hung themselves over an overpass. Oh my it's like God. a northern state overpass in Sweet Hollow Road. Right. Um, and if you, at night, if you drive through and you honk your horn, yeah. they will appear and really? they'll give you a thumbs up, Fonzie style. Oh. <laughs> That's not the scary part. Not, they're not That's the cool the shark. part. That's the cool part. <laughs> they're going to jump uh, the shark or something. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite ones from uh, Sweet Hollow Road is like, if you get pulled over, if you get pulled over by a cop, mm -hmm. um, if he turns around after he gets your information, and uh, he's got his head blown off. No. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Uh -huh. Scary. Scary. But um, the one I did is uh, Lady of Lake Ronkonkoma for you, Ronkonkoma people out there. Ites. <laughs> Ronkonkomaites. Ronkonkomans. <laughs> Ronkonkomites. Yes. There's uh, the myth of a, a Indian princess who uh, killed herself there after her her uh, lover was murdered. So she had right. to take down. Uh, a white settler every year really? into like the watery grave. Deep, that's and a deep abyss of Lake Deep Ronkonkoma. abyss. Right, right. They don't want to swim in Lake Ronkonkoma anymore. No one wants to. <laughs> no, because they have piranhas in there also. That's the other <laughs> that's the other legend. Yeah. The myth of yeah. a legend, really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't know that. What is the, uh, the 